Hello everyone, Recession Diary, July 17, 2014. We have a good rain going outside right now. The buckets are filling up fast. I only have two left to fill up. And I'm just going to let those fill up, perhaps, or something. Uh, I got the, I got both of the waters filled up. I mean, the, um, got a little bit of debris in here, but most of it's just, uh, little pieces of grass, which won't kill me, so. So I'm, I'm putting, I got that boiling right now, so. The, the rain is dying down now, so I mean, I must have been pretty lucky as far as the timing. The timing was pretty perfect, uh, like for right here you can see how much rain is coming down it's been coming down pretty hard for about five minutes now so but now it's start, starting to die down so I got um, I got two buckets filled almost all the way um, unless the rain keeps coming down uh, hard uh, I don't really need to do too much because I got this one full and I have uh, the last one full too so this is one although that's used water so one furball is going to eat some food two and then the other two are outside and they're full so I have enough uh, water those are full. I have enough water to do uh, laundry on Friday or Saturday, which is tomorrow. Today's Thursday. And it looks like the, the rain is pretty much all done. It looks like the there, there, isn't, there hasn't been any uh, incidents with the sniper the hidden this hidden guy that was hiding in the bushes uh shooting at me yesterday um but anyway i have no idea why this guy was shooting at me but uh apparently he decided to shoot at me uh he had a high powered uh bb rifle um, perhaps with a scope, and he was off in that direction, which is to the north. So, in the very far distance to the left, so it's about, we're right, we're right lined up with the power pole. So, if you go to the next power pole, that's 200 feet should be able to see it there in this general direction it looks like it's about uh, a little bit off to the right near the pavement that's the next power pole so that's 200 feet and the next power pole is about 200 more feet away so right around at that next power pole which is very hard to see with this camera there's a sign that that the construction company put out uh, it's right where the, um, the landscape, uh, starts to get bushy off to the left. So, you can see a little bit of street, and then there seems to be, like, uh, plants and bushes and trees. Well, that's, that's where he was hiding at, in front of, uh, a guy named Gus um his house Gus has a, a a history with uh with our family he uh a long time ago when we were teenagers his uh his friends uh were working with him and they told him to uh they told Gus to notify them when our house would be empty so they can break into it. 
and they broke into our house while we were on vacation with me and my father and my brother and uh they uh they took stuff out of the house the door was open when we got back uh, my father was upset my mom was upset my brother was upset uh so my father called the police and uh about two years later two or four years later the the it was it used to be a police station the pokey the police department the captain had enough uh information to have them put in jail these uh, people put in jail for about four years um i think the one guy that was that pretty much spilled the beans he only got like two years but he got out he got a he got out of uh jail a little bit after uh a few months after i got back from the service because when i got back from the service my ex-girlfriend came around and wanted me to go see her and when i went over there to her house and uh and this guy approached me and told me, uh, you know, that I had changed his life. Uh, I didn't change his life. He he changed his own life by his own choices. Uh, but it, either way, it worked out good for him because before he went to jail, he didn't know what God was. And while he was in jail, he found out about God and he got saved and he became a a Christian and he stopped doing those bad things and he said he he turned his life around and he, he wasn't going to be doing bad things anymore he just wants to get a job and get settled down and have kids uh, yeah he's, he told me all that stuff and asked me for forgiveness he didn't have, have to ask me you know all he has to do is ask God and God already Jesus already forgave our sins with his death, so, but, uh, I mean, it was kind of him to ask me that, but he didn't really have to, but it was a nice gesture. I mean, people don't really ask for forgiveness anymore these days. They just, you know... Most of uh, a lot of humans don't have any humanity left these days, but uh, there are some good people still out there. Not many, but but anyway. Um, so the rain did its job. Uh, I have my water, so I can bathe and flush the toilets and uh, do clothes. Um, Tomorrow I have to do the kitty litter. It's gonna be a little hard with the with the soil wet, so I have to I may have to wait a few days for the soil to get dry. Um, so I received a message yesterday from Ezra Craig saying that they had uh, I have see four four messages this thing can hold uh about 20 messages and he said that he filled up the he said he left so many messages that he filled up the answer machine but these messages are are from he said he called yesterday and filled up the, the answer machine with messages i would like to know who's the answer machine he was calling because this answer machine does not it uh, it doesn't have any new new ones i mean it says new but these were these were uh the day before yesterday because the answer machine was not plugged in yesterday i was uh cleaning it and cleaning up the area around it so whoever's answer machine he was calling I would like to know who he did call because that would be a very interesting story in itself. 
Um, either that or somebody's making up a whole bunch of lies. And that wouldn't surprise me very much. And I just called uh, Sheila. I called Sheila at the Lewis Center. See, this is the Lewis Center. My little notes here. 561-904-7900. I called and... Yes! The, the, the person, when you call that number, they answer right away. And then they patch you through to an answer machine. And then you get the answer machine and you leave your name and message and they never call you back. But uh, actually, the, the day before yesterday, yesterday um, I had the phone disconnected because it was having problems. But the day before that, Sheila did call and, and I talked to her. And they were explaining uh, a lot of just... They were just giving reason after reason after reason of how they couldn't help me. Well, we can't help you because of this. Let me ask you a question. Oh, well, we can't help you because of that. And any time they asked me a question, it, it was like it seemed like they were just using that, uh, trying to get more information to use that as a weapon against me. Because so far, I have... All they've been doing is asking questions, but not helping. So, and this is the typical thing that a lot of government agencies do these days, like DCF. You know, they said that they were going to help my mother and this and that. And I still wonder if she even had her, has her, um, had her, her dentist appointment, but, uh, Getting back to the recession diary, I don't want to get off topic here. Um, but anyway, um, so for today, I have more cat food. And I have some grits, leftover grits. So this should last me the rest of the day. Um, I used up that package of fresh bread, so, but for today, I'm going to be having cat food and grits. Tomorrow, I'll perhaps, I will make uh, spaghetti and uh, a, another can of green beans. I still have a... Uh, about a half a container of orange juice left so tomorrow's going to be Friday I'll have spaghetti Saturday and Sunday Saturday and Sunday or either Sunday and Monday because I might try to make the spaghetti last two days and uh, let's see I should be I have to fix a concoction of my vitamins I have to take my vitamins today well at least I can have it with some orange juice um, so but what I have left right now is these two large French baguettes baguettes um, so that'll be tomorrow uh, will be spaghetti day and I have two more packages of the two packs. So that's six all together left uh, of the bread. Everything is going okay. Have food. We have, uh, I don't have milk. I wished I had natural milk. Uh, you know, I, I say this again and again, but I, it's just to reiterate the, the importance of nutrients. Um, the only thing that I have right now is vitamins and supplements, so that will have to do the the uh, the cabinet with canned food is almost empty. 
you know, if I don't get some help soon, things are going to be pretty bad. I'm going to, I'm not going to have any choice but to leave and, uh, take my chances out being homeless because there's not going to be anything left here. Um, yeah, so I, I have that pure sesame oil. So the they had it they had the episode of Dr. Oz yesterday about the um sesame oil. So what the 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 girl, the the woman, a young woman was adult woman. She was showing she was the one that was teaching Dr. Oz about this thing. So what what you do is you swish you swish the I'm not going to do it because uh it's better to take in that oil, even though even though um, Doctor Oz advised against it. Uh, I would rather be full than to be worrying about that. You know, if I had if I had you know benefits coming in, you know, any sort of benefits to to buy a certain amount of food every month, I wouldn't worry about it. But I don't have any benefits of any kind. Uh, you know, I I don't have any welfare. I'm not on welfare. I'm not on social security. Obviously, I'm too young. Um, I don't think I'll, I'm really gonna have any social security when I get older, unless things change and I have a job. But uh, uh, yeah, there's nothing. There's no. I have no income whatsoever uh, to buy any food to buy any cleaning supplies to buy anything to repair the house so but i mean there's not much that i can do that they said that the house was going to be sold or they're going to demolish it i don't think that either of those things are going to happen because nobody wants to live out here unless they have millions and millions of dollars to retire with and and build a new house they're obviously not going to want to live here i don't know of anybody that would want to live in this house the way that it is other than people that don't have anything already like people that are already homeless or or drug at, drug addicts that would want to come in here and just use it as a a place to hide and do drugs or deal drugs or prostitution you know uh i've seen videos about the um about what the the Mexican immigrants do, the men they put all the women, the women in immigrants to work as prostitutes, working 24 hours a day with two to three hours of sleep, you know, in just any old abandoned place that they can find, uh, you know, the the circumstances, uh, and I can understand why um, people are so against having immigrants coming into the country because of this big problem up in New York City. They have a specific word for that. I, I, was, I remember what it was, but I can't remember what it is now. But I have less than a minute. If you enjoy watching the Recession Diaries, um, <laughs> or you just want to see me in pain and misery and laugh at me, um, yes, uh, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the to the channel. That way, you can receive automatic notifications. Leave some likes. Uh, leave some comments below. You have questions. You have comments. All that good fun stuff related to this video. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.